What's going on, everybody? This is your man, T-Bell. Coming with a little man training. It's been a while since I did a man training video on the house project, but I got a project I've been putting off for a couple of weeks. No kids, no wife. So I decided to make a video about it. Uh, a lot of homeowners, I know some of y'all might deal with this, because builder grade stuff in the houses are cheap sometimes. So the problem I'm dealing with now, so I already fixed one of them, but I didn't record it. In houses, the uh, paper, the toilet paper holder starts coming out the wall after so many uses, you know, you're putting all this force, take it out, put it on. It has so much um, tug and pull that eventually one of the holders might start coming out the wall. This is just sheetrock. Um, so we got the toilet paper on here. Now, as you can see, this side is pretty solid. It's not really going to... Eventually, I know I'm going to have to replace it. But this side is shot. You see how loose it is? You see all the paint that's showing? The uh, uh, old paint that's starting to show? So I'm going to take the toilet paper off. Set to the side. And as you can see, I probably can pull this out. That's all I'm going to do, actually. Just pull it out. See how loose it is? Now the problem with this, this cheap builder's grade, this sheetrock screw, it's just gonna screw into the wall, right? It's no, some of the newer ones, they have like the expander to where you put a screw inside the sheetrock holder and then it'll be able to, uh, basically, you can put a screw through here into the sheetrock holder and it'll expand, but this one, it's a screw that goes into the sheetrock holder and it just sits there. But I mean, like I said, you see how easy I just twist it? It's literally like a screw into the wall. So all I did was uh, unscrew it from the wall by hand. It didn't, I didn't have to force it. I just pulled it a little, a few times. So all I'm gonna do, I need to replace this with something stronger. I was gonna do a regular wall anchor, but I want to do something that's probably gonna hold a little longer. So what I'm replacing it with is, it's called a toggle screw. This is what it is. It's basically this end. Uh -oh. Here we go. Okay, so this is a toggle screw. And the way it works, this side is going to be on the other side of this wall. And it's going to grip. You see, it's going to grip to the other side of this wall, holding the toilet paper holder in place. So what I need to do is, right now, this hole is too small for it to go through. So I'm going to have to hold it like this and push it through so it can grip to the other side of this wall. And then that way, I can just screw this. As The tighter I screw this, then it'll just pull, you know, on the other side of this wall, holding the... um toilet paper holder in place. So I need to take this off, but it's a little bolt down here at the bottom. You see that? That little bolt right there? That little screw, that baby screw. Gotta get you a little baby screw. And these one of those screwdrivers that you can use, you know, to tighten your glasses and some of them in a multi-tool kit. But it's a very small screwdriver. All I'm gonna do in this hole, I'm trying to do it by looking at the camera. Just unloose this. Take that out, loosen up, whatever. So I can take the plate out. Boom. This plate goes on the wall and this goes on top of the plate. <clears throat> so and this is the screw I was talking about that goes inside the wall anchor. It's just a regular Phillips head screw. Um, and I need to screw it out of this. So all I'm gonna do, see if I can do it by hand without my pliers. Uh, Unscrew this. I forgot my pliers. So I need something to grip this and stop it from spinning. So I can unscrew this. Because I can't do it by hand. Oh, can I do it by hand? Yeah. So okay. It's able to do it by hand. So um just holding on to the wall anchor and just unscrewing this from the wall anchor so I can free my plate. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. See, uh, that's all it is. This is a wall anchor. No expander, nothing. The grip to the wall just screws into the wall. It's pretty much useless. And this is what it looks like. I'm just take that screw out. It's useless. So now I got my wall plate free, right? So toss this in the trash because that's old and cheap. Now, like I said, see, I can't do nothing with the hole yet because um, still not big enough, right? So all I'm gonna do, I need to make it bigger either on the top or on the sides, but I'm gonna make the whole thing a little bit bigger. Not a whole lot, but just a little bit bigger. Got my drill, got my drill bit. It don't matter what size drill bit, you just need something strong enough to screw into the, to, uh, widen the hole. I'm not gonna go crazy. Let's see if that's big enough. Still a little bit too small. And all I did was go around in a circle just to make the hole bigger. And now I think it is big enough. I'm just clean it up a little bit. All right, so now it's big enough. But once I put this through the wall, I can't pull it back out because it's gonna expand like this. And it's gonna be stuck to the wall, you see? So I can't do nothing with it. So all I'm gonna do now, unscrew this from the toggle bolt, all right? Take my wall plate, cause I need, one, like I said, I can't unscrew it, so I need to set it up. So once it go on the wall, all I gotta do is screw it in. Take the outside of the wall plate, I'm gonna screw it like that. Put the screw through the face plate on for the um, cover. Like that, that's all I did. Screw it through the toggle bolt just a little bit. Well, I'm gonna screw it through the toggle bolt a lot because once I get it in the wall, you'll see it'll be a little more work to have to hold and screw the thing into the wall. So I'm gonna try and screw this into the toggle bolt as much as possible. Yeah, I know my hands ashy, but you know what? Uh, it be like that sometimes. See, I'm just screwing it through. Screwing it through. Screwing it through. And I'm screwing it as far as I need to because once I get it in the wall, that's less work I gotta do. See, this is how it's gonna look. It's gonna be on the other side of the wall like this. All right, this is gonna be the toilet paper side. And it's the other side of the sheetrock. It's just gonna screw and tighten to the sheetrock on the other side. All right, so now, all I'm gonna do, screw it a little bit more so I ain't gotta do as much work. Oh, it's not gonna let me close all the way, it's too close. Okay, so now, that's how it looks. Once I put it through the wall, bam. All right, put it through the wall. Uh, I can need to unscrew it a little bit. All right, because it didn't have enough room to open once I put it through the wall, so I had to pull it out a little bit. So now, you heard it snap. So now, uh -oh. now the thing is, while I'm screwing the, putting the screw in the wall, I kinda gotta, you know, it's gotta have some tension on this screw. So while I'm screwing, pushing the screw in, I have to hold this, this screw so I can twist it so it's got something to grip onto. If I just hold it like this, it's not gonna do nothing. It's just gonna, it's gonna twist and turn. It's not gonna grip to the wall like I need it to. So, while I'm holding it, Boom, I'm twisting, but I'm pulling at the same time. I'm just holding it, so this is gripping to the wall. And as I'm doing it, I'm just screwing a little bit more. All right. I'm 
can do it by hand. It's easier. I'm just holding the faceplate because the faceplate was getting in my way and it was twisting. So I'm still pulling the screw, but while I'm twisting it, I'm saying I'm pulling it, but I'm twisting it because I need that grip on the other side of the sheet rock. Right? All right. I'm doing this as much as I can by hand because I still got a little control over it. All right. See how it's looking. All right. Now it's getting tighter on the other side of the wall, so. Still need to pull a little bit. So now all I'm doing is holding the face, pulling the face plate out just a little bit to get that grip on the other side of the wall. You see how it's tightening? Boom. Okay. I just moved the face plate over just a little bit because it was too far over on this side of the paint. All right, hold it still. Now tighten it down. Not too much, but just enough. And remember, it's good and gripped on here. On the other side of the wall, it's holding on the other side of this sheetrock. So if it starts loosening up over time, all I gotta do is take this off and just tighten it up some more. Because remember, the screw is long. So tighten it up just a little bit more, not too much. Boom. And there it is. All right. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I'm going to put the toilet paper, hold it back, the cover back on. Once I do that, it's going to be loose. Because I got to tighten this, this little screw back in once I get it in there. All right. So put it over it. <clears throat> Boom. I got it over it. So let me screw this in so to tighten it up. And this is tightening it up so it'll be gripped onto that face, the face plate that we just put on the wall. And now, and now you see, there it is. I'll do it a little bit because this side is lower than this side, you see? Well, you can't see, but I know it's lower. So I'm gonna take this off. As my granddaddy say, check your work. I'm trying to find a hole for this little boat. this up so there you go see how easy that was tighten it back to the wall I'm gonna loosen up just a little bit okay Put this back over I should have checked it before I was tightened it up but I didn't uh, raise it up See if I can raise it up just a little bit more. Okay. I think this has it to go. But you know what? It'll do. Ooh, this video getting a little long. Okay, let's go ahead and wrap it up, Tyler. Okay, put the face plate on. Boom, still good. So that's, see, I already know, I feel it getting a little loose over here. So I'm gonna have to put a toggle bolt over here eventually. But for right now, just toilet paper back on the road. Put it 
back on the holder. Boom. See, it's holding in place now. This ain't loose. I feel this side getting loose, so eventually I'm going to have to replace that, but it was just that simple. All right? So now, all you got to do is clean your mess up from all that sheetrock you just drilled out before your wife get home, and you're good to go. Little man training.